my shield, and he in whom I trust. Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. Today we are going to mount our Vortex Razor HD Gen 2. As you saw in my last video, we adjusted the eye relief before we started this. I went ahead and put some tape and marked the position of the proper uh, positioning of the scope just so I don't lose my place. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and remove the uh, the, not the, uh, the ring caps here. And uh, then after that, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have proper alignment. Now, Night Force claims that you shouldn't have to lap these rings. Now, I had another rifle I installed these and it was off a little bit. So, I wanna make sure I check because actually I lost a lot of elevation on that rifle. So I may have to redo the whole thing. Come on, get off there. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and Take this off and set that to the side. Okay, so we got our alignment bars in. There's no play. We've torqued everything down to spec. There's absolutely no play on this. So I do have my lapping bar here, but when I look at my... When I look at my rings, Right there. Totally aligned. There is absolutely, I mean, it's basically perfect in there. in there. So we got lucky on this and we don't have to lap the rings. Now, I kind of wanted to lap the rings so I can show you, but I don't want to overlap these if we don't need to. So I guess Night Force is good on their claims that you don't have to lap their rings. I don't think that's the case with all their rings. But in just for these particular rings, we got lucky. So. Okay, so let's we have everything aligned. We checked everything with our 34 millimeter alignment bars. Well, let's go ahead and mount the scope here. So I'm going to take these off and you can see I did put a level here and we want to make sure that we're level here. I guess we could fine tune this afterwards. Now I can confirm this level with the gun level. I have another level right here and both are in the level position. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our scope on. And I'm going to have to take that level off. And I have the tape placed exactly where it needs to go. Now, let's go ahead and put our caps on. We're not going to tighten these all the way. We're just going to get them in the, just so we can make, we can adjust them left and right. So I'm excited to finally get this rifle finished because I've been working on this for a long time and it seems like every time I want to make progress something goes wrong or I need a part, I need a screw, I need a certain tool and it seems like that's been the pattern ever since I started building this rifle. Ooh, I thought I was missing one screw. See, things like that, missing a little screw or something of the sort where you have to do everything over again. Okay. 
Okay, so we got <clears throat> our level here on our chassis. It's level, you see my finger down here. On the fore end of the tube, let me show you. On the chassis, we are level as well. Sorry, I don't really use autofocus because I've found it is not as accurate. And I have checked our rail and this is level. So everything's coinciding. So all I have to do is we already adjusted our eye relief on our scope here and I tape those and we're in our perfect position there. So I just need to level our scope, which needs to go over just a smidge. And we are perfect. Make sure everything else is still level, 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 level. And we are, our rail is level. So we are at the perfect position. Let's go ahead and tighten, tighten her down. Go ahead and set this at 25 inch pounds. Chassis is level, scope is level, rail is level. We're good. We are installed. Okay, everything's installed. Let me just take a quick peek through the scope. Eye relief is perfect. I set my head on there, completely clear. No vignetting, no shadowing, no crescents, no nothing. And I even have some play back and forth and there is, it stays clear. So I'm in the perfect position, which is really cool. Reticle looks straight. I'm actually looking at a fence line, but you can't go off anything. You'd actually need to have a level out in the field, or if you have a leveler, you can post it uh, at the range or on something in your yard just to make sure that it's properly level. So that was one of the most successful installs I have had. I'm just glad I wasn't, I didn't have to lap the rings. I really wanted to lap the rings so I can show you. It's actually, I don't get to do that too often. Um, I guess that's the price you pay for uh, buying um, high-end rings. So Night Force, if you were to buy rings, I know a lot of people buy different types of rings. Night Force has a very high quality standard in their scopes and their products, their rings. So that's why I go with Night Force rings. You do pay a little more for them, <clears throat> but in the end, I've, uh, they've always had great alignment, never had any problems with them. So that's why I use Night Force. So I'm glad I got this uh, rifle done. I've been making videos on this for ages and it's finally finished. And so all I have to do now is sh make some loads for it and shoot it. You know, I did not mention when you do the eye relief, you should check it at the highest magnification and the lowest and, and it, it should still be good. Anyway, I'm very happy how this turned out there. I'm not sure if I like this bipod. It has a lot of play in it. I do. Tighten that up. Yeah, I don't know. I think it may be worth it to buy a uh, quality bipod as well, considering the money I've already put into this. Anyway, well, <clears throat> that's my best on how to uh, install a scope. And uh, I think this one came out very good. So thanks for watching. 
uh, join me on my next video. I may be just taking buying some loads, not loads, some rounds, go uh, put a few shots through this, or I may actually make a load, have to do my research and uh, start shooting those. So I'll have to look online to see uh, a good starting point for those. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. All right, finally, we are finished. Masterpiece Arms BA Chassis, Vortex Razor, HD Gen 2 Scope, 4.5 by 27 by 56. Harris Bipod, some POS carbon fiber. Bipod, we got a Timney trigger in there. And everything after all this time, we finally finished this. We got our JP Enterprises muzzle brake there. Double crush washer. And I put made the, built put this together 100% on YouTube. Even though I could say it's pretty heavy, it's probably one of my lighter high caliber precision rifles. Now all I have to do is shoot it. So join me in the either the next upcoming videos, make some loads, and then take this out to the range. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.